Here we take a quick look at how to determine the zenith angle right here for different times of year. We're going to focus on the winter solstice, December 21st. The summer solstice, June 21st, will be another one we'll look at. And then also the equinoxes, March 20th and September 22nd. But here we've got some person located at one latitude, a particular latitude north of the equator. Right there is where the person's standing and the straight up direction is here. And the sun's rays are coming in December 21st directly over the Tropic of Capricorn, minus 23 and a half degrees or 23 and a half degrees south. And so we can see that the zenith angle, the angle between the straight up direction and the direction the sun's coming in, is the same as this angle down here, because we're assuming that these rays of sunlight are parallel to each other. Again, the sun is so far away, by the time the sunlight reaches the earth, all of the rays hitting the earth are essentially parallel to each other. So the latitude plus the declination is the same as the zenith angle. And so we've got here, the zenith angle is the latitude plus 23 and a half degrees. Now if we go down here to summertime, again, the person is standing here, the zenith is a straight up direction, but now for the summer solstice, June 21st, the declination is plus 23 and a half degrees. The sun is directly overhead of the Tropic of Cancer. And so the zenith angle is the latitude minus that 23 and a half degrees. And the easiest one yet is at the equinoxes. The zenith angle is exactly the same as the latitude. So that's very, very easy. Again, the sun's rays shine straight down on the equator. They're parallel. Every ray of sunlight that hits the earth is parallel to each other. And so right here, the angle between the straight up direction and the incoming sunlight is just the latitude very easy to calculate.